Tom Waits. I like him. There was another song that I wanted wanted to do. I'm going to do it one of these days. It's called "I'm Going to I'll Take It With Me When I Go." That's a really cool ringtone. But um, and uh, yeah, it's a great song. It's a great song. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know, you made me remember when Bela and I played here. Uh, something funny happened. Um, Besides just us playing together, it was weird enough. But uh, Bale and I have been like brothers for years and years and years. And he, he asked me one time, do you think I should join the Newgrass Revival? And I went, what? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. So, so Bale and I are playing, and we decide to switch shirts between shows. And so... I thought it was a good idea, and so he put on my shirt, I put on his shirt, and I was thinking, man, what's this dude been eating? <laughs> Some funky smell <coughs> happening here. And, and uh, it was rank, it was really <laughs> like burning tires. This has like, been eating, you know, like Slim Jims for a month straight, or what? <laughs> And, uh, and then at the end of the show, I gave him his shirt back. He gave me mine back, and everything seemed okay to me. And he said, he said, man, you made my shirt smell really bad. And I said, no, no it was like that when you gave it to me. He said, I don't think so. And I said, yeah, it was, it was, it really was. And when he got home, he found out that his cat had peed all over his body. <laughs> That really happened, Bill. You saw the film now, and you can send this to straight to Bela. <laughs> Edgar, nothing like that happened. A few other things happened with Edgar. There's was always something cerebral. I can't finish. I can't figure that out. Man. But, uh, those were some good times, though, playing up here with those guys. It's so much fun. And uh, we, we should do it again. We should do like a, a reunion. Yeah. Yeah. Like Jimmy Martin said, when we were out at Red Rocks and we were doing, uh, we were doing a, a circle be unbroken. It had been filmed, and we were doing playing at Red Rocks and giving all the money to W. O. Smith, uh, uh, a music school in Nashville. And he said, "When are we going to do one of these benefits for ourselves?" <laughs> So there's 9,500 people sitting out there, and he's thinking, I might get a dime for this. So I thought, you know, maybe we should do one in Hickory and do a benefit for ourselves. Eh? Yeah. I want to get it, give him any ideas. You yes. should fall Here's one for, for those of you who are thinking about making a record, writing your own songs and putting them on records. This is, there's a song here that I have that is, is, was on one of my earlier records and, uh, and I uh, since then have, have learned to think things through a little farther before I commit them to wax or to, you know, to CDs or MP3s or anything like that. You mean, you really think about it for a long time before you, before you before it walks away to the mailbox and goes to a whole, you know, thousands of people, uh, uh, you should make sure you really like your song uh, <laughs> and every part of it, you know, because once it's out there, you can't get it back. You can't get it back. So I did this on, on an MCA record. I was on this record series called the MCA Master Series. Yeah. Really bad name for the label, <laughs> but um, there were a bunch of us on Edgar and Albert Lee and. Acoustic alchemy and I uh, forget the right. lifes, you know, <laughs> lightweights. Mm -hmm. Larry Carlton, he was him too. And um, so I put this on my on my record, and, and I, it was one of those things where I, I had to come up with a song because the next day I was going to have a studio full of people sitting there waiting to play whatever I had, and this is what I came in with. And so we we played the song, and I left there. Uh, thinking, oh, that sound, they made it sound a lot better than it did at my house. And so uh, then it came out on the record, and I went, ah, no, 
There's one part in it that I absolutely hate. And uh, I'll show you when it comes by. <laughs> called a peaceful return but it's anything but this part's all right 